Ever been excited about a product only to discover it wasn't what it promised? Imagine this. You buy a shiny, eco-friendly Volkswagen, thinking you're doing your part for the planet, right? But then, the scandal hits. Your trusty car isn't so green after all. It's the Volkswagen emissions scandal, and it left us all questioning our choices. Stick around as we delve into the trust-busting uproar and share insights on what it means for you as a consumer. Keep watching. Let's navigate this twisty road together. In 2015, the automotive world was rocked by a scandal that would tarnish the reputation of one of its biggest players, Volkswagen. At the heart of the controversy was an accusation that shook the industry to its core. The German auto giant had intentionally rigged its diesel engines to cheat on emissions tests. It began when the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, made a shocking announcement that Volkswagen had violated the Clean Air Act. Investigators discovered that around half a million VW cars sold in the U.S. were equipped with a defeat device, a sophisticated piece of software designed to deceive. During lab testing, this software could detect when a car was being tested for emissions and switch on full pollution controls to meet legal standards. But once on the road, under real-world driving conditions, the software would turn off these controls, allowing the cars to emit nitrogen oxides at up to 40 times the legal limit. For years, these vehicles had been marketed as clean diesel, a greener choice for environmentally conscious consumers. But in reality, the supposedly eco-friendly cars were anything but. It was a deception of epic proportions, one that raised numerous questions about corporate responsibility and regulatory oversight. Little did anyone know, Volkswagen's troubles were just beginning, and the revelation of the defeat devices was merely the tip of the iceberg in an environmental and corporate drama that would span continents, implicate top executives, and lead to one of the most significant breaches of trust in the auto industry's history, the defeat device, a term that seems almost too tame for the sophisticated software engineered to sidestep one of the most fundamental regulations in the automotive industry. This wasn't a mere glitch or oversight. It was a willful act of cunning, a deliberate ploy hidden within the engine control modules of millions of Volkswagen vehicles. Let's delve into the mechanics of this deception. The software was designed with the intelligence to distinguish between everyday driving scenarios and laboratory conditions that mirrored the stringent testing environment set by regulators. Variables such as steering wheel position, speed, duration of engine operation, and barometric pressure were analyzed to trigger the vehicle into test mode. Once in this mode, the vehicle's engine and emission system operated within legal parameters, ensuring that the car met all regulatory requirements. The emissions controls were fully functional, capturing and reducing the pollutants, and presenting a facade of compliance that would satisfy any test. But the truth was starkly different on the open road. Away from the rigors of testing with the defeat device switched off, emission systems were scaled back and the car's performance was prioritized over its environmental impact. The result was a toxic secret lurking in the exhaust of these cars, emissions that were far beyond legal levels, polluting the air unchecked. At the core, these defeat devices were a sinister blend of technological innovation and ethical blindness, clever code conjured to cloak a grim reality, one where the pursuit of profit and market dominance outweighed the cost to the environment and public health. It was a move that would cost Volkswagen dearly, both in terms of money and the trust of consumers around the world. The ripples of the Volkswagen emissions scandal spread far beyond the American highways and into the streets and autobahns of the world. It was a deception that knew no borders with approximately 11 million cars fitted with defeat devices globally. The scandal wasn't confined to the Volkswagen brand alone. It extended to some of the most well-known and trusted names in the automotive sector. Audi, the luxury car maker, and Skoda, a company known for its value and practicality, were both caught in the snare of the scandal. These brands, under the Volkswagen Group umbrella, also had vehicles on the road that contained the illicit software, betraying the trust of their customers and contravening environmental standards. Owners of these vehicles were driving what they thought were modern, efficient diesel cars. In truth, they had unwittingly become part of one of the largest corporate frauds in recent history. The fallout was immediate and wrenching, not just for Volkswagen, but for the entire diesel segment of the auto industry. Consumers felt tricked. Governments were outraged, and the automotive industry found one of its keystone narratives about clean diesel crumble to dust. 
fines, recalls, compensation claims, and a tarnished image were just the beginning. The long-term implications were even more profound as the very future of diesel technology came under scrutiny, and trust in automakers and regulatory bodies was severely compromised. Thus, a single software code had the power to challenge an entire industry's status quo, prompting a push for stricter emissions testing and regulations worldwide, and sparking a debate on the very ethics of corporate conduct in the relentless race for market supremacy. The curtain was pulled back on the Volkswagen emissions scandal not by industry insiders, but by a small team of researchers from West Virginia University, funded by the International Council on Clean Transportation, or ICCT. The ICCT, a nonprofit organization, commissioned the study to test emissions from diesel cars under real-world driving conditions, unknowingly setting the stage for a revelation that would send shockwaves around the globe. The researchers' findings were staggering. The Volkswagens they tested emitted nitrogen oxides at levels that were a far cry from their advertised performance and legal limits. When the results landed on the desks of the EPA, they acted promptly, leading to Volkswagen admitting to the use of defeat devices. As the magnitude of the deceit unraveled, the fallout was immediate and catastrophic for Volkswagen. The company's stock price plummeted, billions were wiped off its market value, and the hunt for those responsible began. High-profile executive resignations marked the months that followed as the company scrambled to manage the growing crisis. The most notable departure was that of the CEO, Martin Winterkorn, who resigned just days after the scandal broke, though he claimed to have no knowledge of the wrongdoing. Government investigations sprang up across the world, from Volkswagen's home turf in Germany to the distant roads of South Korea. Regulators tightened their grip and penalties loomed large on the horizon. The company was now in the throes of a legal battlefield, its once sterling reputation sullied by the revelation that one of the world's most trusted car manufacturers had been systematically lying to the public and to the authorities. It was a story of ambition gone awry. A cautionary tale of what can happen when the pursuit of success is decoupled from the principles of honesty and integrity. And as Volkswagen navigated this uncharted territory, the rest of the industry watched and learned, understanding that the age of easy trust between manufacturers, consumers, and regulators had come to an abrupt and ignominious end. The Volkswagen emission scandal had severe financial and legal repercussions that reverberated through the company's ledgers and legal standing. As the dust began to settle, the cost of the deceit became clearer. Volkswagen found itself on the hook for an estimated total cost of over $30 billion, a figure that encompassed fines, vehicle buybacks, repairs, and legal settlements. In the United States alone, the company agreed to pay $14.7 billion in what became one of the largest civil settlements in the history of the automotive industry. This monumental sum covered not only fines, but also provided compensation for consumers through buybacks and financial assistance for those who chose to have their vehicles fixed. But the financial implications were only part of the story. In 2017, Volkswagen pled guilty to conspiracy to defraud the United States, commit wire fraud, and violate the Clean Air Act. Penalties did not stop at the corporate level. Individual executives were indicted, and some faced significant prison sentences, highlighting the personal accountability aspect of the scandal. The ramifications extended beyond the confines of the courtroom and into the court of public opinion. Volkswagen's reputation, once synonymous with reliability and trustworthiness, had been dealt a crippling blow. Winning back customer loyalty and restoring its image would require not just words, but profound changes in corporate behavior and a demonstrated commitment to transparency and ethics. In the span of a few heartbreaking revelations, the company was forced to realign its corporate strategy, prioritizing clean technology and dedicating itself to the future of electric vehicles. This pivot, however costly, projected a silver lining in the dark clouds that had gathered over the automaker, signifying a transformation spurred by one of the greatest corporate scandals of the 21st century. In the wake of the scandal, the automotive landscape began to shift. Diesel, once seen as a viable path to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and a cornerstone of European car manufacturing, faced a tarnished reputation. In the eyes of the public and regulators, the image of diesel cars was indelibly linked to the scandal, leading to a dwindling market share as both consumer confidence and regulatory pressures mounted. 
This erosion of diesel's image coincided with a heightened scrutiny of emissions testing worldwide. Governments and regulatory agencies tightened their oversight, implementing more robust testing procedures designed to catch any discrepancies between laboratory results and real-world emissions. These tests would close the gap that once allowed manufacturers like Volkswagen to exploit loopholes with defeat devices. Within this climate of distrust towards diesel and stricter regulations, a new automotive movement gained momentum, the shift toward electric vehicles, or EVs. Manufacturers around the world, spurred on by the scandal, began redirecting investments towards the development of cleaner, more sustainable electric transportation options. Volkswagen, at the heart of this seismic shift, recognized the need for change. In a bid to reclaim consumer trust and realign their corporate identity, the company made a bold commitment to an electric future. They laid out an aggressive plan investing billions into electric vehicle technology and infrastructure, and pledging to launch a new generation of EVs. Their strategy, known as Electrify America, is not just about producing electric cars, but about laying the groundwork for an electric mobility revolution. With the aim of building one of the largest electric charging networks in the United States, Volkswagen sought to facilitate the adoption of EVs and redefine its role in an industry undergoing transformation. As the world grappled with the implications of the emissions scandal, one thing became clear. It had inadvertently accelerated the automotive industry's drive towards an electric future, one that promised to reshape our roads, our environment, and our collective approach to mobility and sustainability. Thank you for joining us as we navigated the dramatic twists and impactful aftermath of the Volkswagen emissions scandal. We hope this video has shed light on the far-reaching implications of corporate deceit and the transformation it spurred in the automotive industry. If you found this content valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay informed about our future videos. Your support fuels our mission to bring you engaging and insightful stories. Until next time, stay informed and keep questioning. Thank you for watching.